Scripture, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Psalms 103.2 What good thing has God done for you recently? He has saved my life. He has provided for me financially. He, restored my f he has restored my family situation. Oh, the Lord has helped me in many ways. Um, he has saved my life. The hope, the virtue, no. expect to be enriched. In Christ, you don't lack a single spiritual blessing. You are God's precious child, and there's no better father than him. You did nothing to deserve his, uh, uh, to deserve his adoption, love, goodness, and mercy. You simply said yes to the most wonderful invitation there ever was or will be. In Ephesians, Paul writes about some of the spiritual blessings we've received including adoption, righteousness, grace, forgiveness, fellowship with God and his people, and inheritance, the Holy Spirit. Our spiritual blessings are the greatest, most important, and the most beautiful things in this life. True true misery only comes from true misery only comes from being void of these heavenly blessings. Do you believe these spiritual blessings are all completely yours. Remember that list is just a small sample. It doesn't matter if you've been a Christian for 80 years, only for a day. These truths are never to be taken for granted. Ask Lord Chambers in, in my almost for his uh, highness asked a challenging question. I believe we should ask ourselves, can I face things as they actually are in the light of the reality of Jesus Christ? Or do or do things as they as they really are, destroy my trust in him and put me in a panic. There isn't there isn't anything you need that your heavenly father doesn't already know about. He's concerned about your big needs and even the stuff you think is too petty for prayer. Our God is that good. Today choose one spiritual blessing in Christ to focus on. Pick the one you often fail to remember or understand. Fix it in your mind and ask God to help you understand and apply that blessing to your life every day. Prayer. God, thank you for showing me your mercy and faithfulness. You are my healer, restorer, rescuer, conqueror, and provider. You give me st your strength, joy, peace, and love. No one compares to you. You are my God, and you are worthy of all my praise. In Jesus' name, amen. May I never forget the good things he does for me. Psalms 103.2